Hello everyone and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my guest bedroom makeover. We're going to be doing cleaning, organizing, and decorating. As you can see right here, we just moved into the house so it was nice and empty and clean. But in a few slides I'm going to show you, it kind of became our catch-all space and everything that um, I was either using or not using kind of just got thrown into this room because I could shut the door and I knew nobody was staying in here. But now Christmas is getting close and my sister and her husband are gonna be coming in So I definitely need to work on this space and get it done So if you're new here, I would love for you to click that red subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video So the very first thing I wanted to work on was the bed. I feel like if you're decorating a space or if you're just cleaning or rearranging or organizing a room, definitely go ahead and get your bed made. It's gonna give you momentum. You're gonna see that progress is gonna be made. So definitely start there. I can't even start there because all of this stuff is in front of the mattress and we still need to assemble like the headboard and the footboard. So I'm gonna start by just kind of clearing the room out, moving everything away from the bed. I'm gonna throw stuff like out in the hallway. And then the very first thing after that I wanna work on is the bed because it really will give you more motivation. So if you're cleaning or organizing, start with that bed and I promise you it's gonna keep you moving. Now that I got the room cleared out, Chase is gonna come in and assist me putting this bed together. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think anybody would wanna sleep in it. So we're just kind of pulling out all the pieces and laying them where they go. So this was actually our bed in the last house in our master bedroom. But now in this house, we were gonna have an actual guest bedroom again. I've missed it so much. Um, and so instead of buying our guest a whole new bedroom set that you know guests rarely come and stay at our house, I decided I wanted to give us the new set so if you missed my master bedroom decorating definitely go back and check that out it's a whole makeover in our master bedroom and I just love the way it turned out but basically everything we didn't use we just put into this room we actually got pretty lucky because most guest bedrooms won't hold a king size bed but um, I think it's just a really good size king size bed like the headboards not super large or wide and then our nightstands were pretty narrow and small too because our last master was pretty cozy so all these items are fitting into this guest bedroom perfectly and I couldn't be more excited this is gonna be one of those videos that it changes a lot so this was over like a week process and I kept changing things I kept ordering things so it's one of those but wait there's more so definitely don't click off until the very end because it's gonna keep changing as we go Listening to the sound from some street crier. 
I mentioned this like tool in the last couple videos because I keep getting a ton of questions about it. I will have it linked in the Amazon store. I know last time I checked it was sold out, but I'm sure they're going to get more or you can pre-order, but it is a really cool gift. So if you have like a guy, like a husband or brother or dad that you need to buy something for that has everything and they're really into like hanging stuff or putting stuff together, which is like every guy, <laughs> definitely add that to their list. It's just a really great gift to give for either a birthday or Christmas or whatever you have going on. But as you can see, I'm just kind of helping Chase um, as he needs help. I'll like stop and hold the bed and then I go back organizing. It is just kind of like a team effort so we can knock this out. This bed was pretty easy to put together. We've done it a few times since it wasn't like a new bed. We knew what we were doing. As you can see, the fireplace made it to this new house. Um, if you guys know me at all, I love change. I'm always decorating new things. So if something makes it in my house for a long time, it's a really good piece. And this is actually the third home this fireplace has been in. So you guys know I love it. I decided to go ahead and bring it here in the guest bedroom. I thought it would be so cozy and warm. And honestly, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a dresser because this is a guest bedroom and nobody's going to be like moving in it. So I wanted to save the money. And then when people stay, it's just like, like nice and cozy and relaxing. I can still have the TV on it and I'm just not like filling up the walkway with a dresser that's not being used. And if I have an empty dresser in my house, it's just kind of the way our brains are programmed. We want to fill them up. So I love not having a lot of storage items in my house because I feel like less is more. So I'm really happy with how this room's turning out. You're going to see me go ahead and wipe this down. And then I'm going to show you how I put the logs in it. So I always get a ton of questions about this fireplace. So we bought it over seven years ago at Big Lots. They do still have them, but they're updated. They don't look like this one and they do have the inserts in them. Ours had that as well, but I didn't love the fake looking fire. So we took it out and just made kind of a box behind it and painted it. And then these are all the items I use. I have found this at like a thrift store and that's what I use to like pile on the wood. So you're gonna see me right here, um, just how I display it. And it just looks so much more real to me than like a fake fire. Um, and I don't think I've ever shown you guys how I do this. So you guys can watch now. So we have a really hard time getting these slates apart. It's like Velcroed on. It makes it easy when you lay them down because they don't slide and you don't have to screw them in. But for some reason, when I would fix my side, it would mess up Chase's and then Chase would fix it and it would like squash my fingers. <laughs> 
but we finally figured it out. But we really like this bed. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this video, but it's off Amazon. Um, I feel like they have really great priced beds. That's where we got our new one as well. Um, so if they have this in stock, I'll definitely link it down below. You guys always want to know the size. Um, it is a king, but they had it in other sizes as well. And it doesn't need a box spring, which is nice. So if you're having to get like a whole new bed, that will save you money because you don't have to buy a box spring to go with the mattress. So definitely check that out. Like I said, I'll leave like my Amazon store link down below in the description box. While packing and moving, I just knew everything that was going from our master bedroom was coming into this guest bedroom. So I literally did not buy anything for it, but it didn't cross my mind like we were going to need extra sheets and pillows and pillowcases. Typically, I would have had two sheets because um, for like our master bed, I like to keep summer sheets and winter sheets. And I put the winter sheets on our master, but I threw away our summer sheets. They were, they had just lived their life. I bought them from like Ross for $9.99. I showed you guys that in a video and they were great, but we definitely weren't going to bring them with us. They were just tearing and they were kind of, um, just like balling up, you know, they were cheap. They were $9.99. So anyways, I didn't bring them. So I actually don't have sheets for this bed. I have this comforter, which we used in our last house, but I end up changing it later on. Like I said, there's so many changes throughout this video. So as of right now, you're just going to see me throw the comforter on and then a few pillows because I don't have much to go on it. And then I had these lamps from our last house. I had used them in Savannah's room. I had used them in our master. I put them in and the next day, I just didn't like it. I was going to try to add a gold to this space to make it flow with the rest of the house, but I just, the more I would walk in this room, it just wasn't calling for gold. It was just calling for like whites and creams and grays and silvers. So this will definitely be a change you see later on as well. Adore him. Come let us adore him. Cry. I'm going to be putting some extra towels in the guest bedroom closet right here. So our last house was three full bathrooms, so they all had showers in them. This one's actually two full and then a powder room, which I'm definitely okay with. Cleaning three tubs was a lot, and when guests come, they can just use Savannah's shower. Savannah can move into ours as needed. We really don't have guests all that often, and it's nice just having a powder room so it stays clean, so if guests just pop in and out and need to use the little room. Um, so these are extra towels, which I'm going to keep I don't like getting rid of towels or blankets for some reason. Then if my sister comes and stays or a friend or whoever, they have nice clean towels. I don't have to worry about getting all the laundry done. They know nobody's using these. They're just clean and ready to go. They can grab their clothes out of the closet, grab a towel and go hit the shower. I just feel like that's very convenient. Otherwise, if we have like a surprise visitor and towels aren't ready, you kind of get stressed. So that's why I'm throwing them in that closet. 
Um, I went ahead and picked up these curtains from Ross and they were like $16.99. I actually bought the wrong length. It's been so stressful just like moving in, unpacking, filming. I didn't get them long enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and hang them because like I said, they're gonna be coming over for Christmas and this window is like the way the sun rises. Um, so I want them to have a little bit of privacy and block out the sun in the morning, but eventually I'm gonna have to rebuy these and have Chase rehang um, the bar higher. I'm sure he's gonna love me for that, but that's what we do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep like fiddling with this closet as Chase comes in. Um, I have him hang things. So in my head, you can just see my face. I'm like working through everything. Like where does it need to go? Is it staying? Is it leaving? So I'll just start laying stuff out. When I say I bought the wrong length of curtains, it's because technically your curtains are supposed to start at like almost at your ceiling and fall down. It's gonna make your space look larger and taller and more grand. These will fit at the top of the window and still touch the carpet, but to me it's just so basic and I love hanging mine up high but I was not in the mood to like order curtains and them not be in in time. I just wanted to go ahead and get it hung and get this room complete, which as I'm doing these voiceovers, <laughs> it's still not complete. I'm hoping I can wrap this up before this video goes live. So you'll see, they're gonna hang right above the window and they're still gonna touch the carpet, barely. I think they like skim it, but they need to go up right below that crown molding is where they need to hang from. So once I get my energy back, um, I'll definitely be tweaking a few things about this room but when I was mentioning the wrong size I know you guys would kind of wonder why so for this day it looked complete it actually felt like home I walked into this room and it was our bed and our comforter and our nightstands um, our fireplace our TV I almost spent the night in here but I didn't but it just felt like home so this is kind of like stage one of the makeover but we're gonna keep adding some more as we go Now I'm gonna switch out the lamp. So I took the gold out. I decided gold does not belong in this space. So I was putting in my marble lamps. I've had these in my last house. I love these. I found these at a flea market off side of the road coming home from Arkansas. But during the move, it got broke. I have one and I did end up moving it into my office. Um, so you're gonna see me set these up, but spoiler alert, I take them down. I just could not handle the broken lamp. I tried to have Chase fix it, but it was just broke. It was too wobbly. It was gonna drive me crazy. I didn't want guests dealing with it. And I do come in here every day and turn the lamps on. I know that's crazy, but I just love this space. So I went ahead and got rid of that one and then moved the other one, like I said, into my office. But I also did go by the store and pick up pillows. No, these were the wrong pillows. <laughs> these I picked up from my mother-in-law. When you're decorating, definitely call around. If you have family, um, ask them if they have you know the pieces you're looking for. Sometimes they're storing it. My mother-in-law had two brand new sets of king pillows which is what I was gonna go buy, but she had it because company was gonna stay with her and they never did. So I got four brand new pillows basically and didn't have to buy them. So definitely shop your house and shop your friends' houses, shop your family's houses, because one day you're gonna be able to help them. They may call you and you have something that you can flip flop with them. I don't know, just a great money saver. Um, I've done so much decorating on a budget. It just doesn't hurt because the worst thing they're gonna say is no.
My sheets came in that I had ordered for this bed. I picked them up from Amazon and they seem really nice. They washed up well, they still look new. Now obviously I haven't like slept in them because it's our guest bedroom. So after my sister stays for Christmas, I can let you guys know if she liked them, but they do look really nice. And like I said, I did wash and dry them and they look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here. Um, and then I am gonna put my old comforter back on, but like I mentioned, I did end up ordering another one. I just kept changing. I could tell in this room, I just had to keep tweaking it. It just, something wasn't right. And I'm just trying to make sure it's perfect before we have family come in. As you can see, it's becoming much more of a bedroom now, but I did have a lot of stuff in this closet that I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. It's so easy to throw it into a guest closet, but at the same time, when family's gonna stay here, I don't want a ton out. So I do have extra pillows. I like to keep pillows. My family's very particular, like some like them fluffy, most of them like them super thin. So like the ones on the bed, they're not actually gonna use. And I just tuck these up high and leave extra like pillowcases out. Um, that chair actually goes in Savannah's room, but she has her Christmas tree up, so we can't hang it until we put that away. So I'm just throwing it in here. And then I was also keeping all of our extra blankets in here, but I just don't like seeing all that color when I open it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and move those somewhere else. But here is just all like the gray pillowcases. I'm gonna keep this up um, in the closet with the extra pillows and all in this bin. So if they wanna switch them out while they're staying here, they can. So while I'm vacuuming, I wanted to share a little bit about this closet. I like to keep things in the guest closet that people may forget when they come. So if you see up in that like number three um, storage container up there, I have extra shampoo and toothbrushes and toothpaste. Now I may go ahead and move that into the bathroom before they come, but if they do come and it's unexpected, they just have that bin and they can get anything out that they need. I do have a drawer in Savannah's bathroom where I'm keeping extra like hair dryers and straighteners, hairspray, stuff like that because you always forget something when you're traveling and I know sometimes it's hard to ask the people you're staying with. So I like to think of everything that I possibly can and have it either in the bathroom in a drawer for them or in their closet. Well, I've got news for you. I know you're waiting. 
So I would call this like stage two of the makeover and right here it did look really good. I really loved the way it turned out. It felt like home because it was everything from our last house. But the more I looked at it, I don't know, I felt like the comforter had been used a lot. I know on screen it looks really white, but you know, every time I washed it, I had to bleach it. And I hate putting bleach a lot in my washer because then I feel like the loads afterwards, sometimes it's left in there and it messes up clothes. I don't know, I love white because it's so clean and crisp, but I decided to make a change. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. And then here in a second, you're gonna see how it's turning into. I decided to go ahead and order a new comforter. I got this off Amazon, shocking, I know. Um, this was actually the same brand as my sheets too. I noticed it when I was putting them on and I'm really happy with both. They both wash up really well. Um, I don't know, they feel like really good quality. I know sometimes you can open stuff up and it's like itchy or scratchy. These were both super soft and I think they're gonna last a long time. So here it is just with my white sheets on. Now I'm gonna switch out the shams. I do like the touch of gray in here. I think it's gonna be really pretty once I complete the space. I did really like the white. So if you're wondering, those last shots were beautiful, but I think this is gonna hold up better. I think it just is fresh and clean for our guest. Um, I am gonna have to buy a few more things for this room. So this may be like part one of the guest bedroom makeover. You'll see me work on it more as we go. But I'm hoping by the end of this video, I'll at least have the lamps. I'm not sure though, cause we keep having all of our deliveries sent to other houses. But if I get them, it's gonna be the very last clip of this video. So don't click off yet. If not, check out um, my post over on Instagram. Hopefully I have it by Sunday and you can see how it's looking over there. Before I end this, I did pick up just a few new pillows. This fur one was from Ross and it was just $12.99 and it is oversized, so it's not your standard size. And then I got a set of these white ones. It was um, from Home Goods and it was two for $30. So I felt like that was a great deal and it just makes the bed feel really grand. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. There'll definitely be a part two because currently I have nothing on the wall. So I definitely have some more work to do. So you guys will see that in future videos. Videos. but I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you enjoy your family. I am taking a few days off just to celebrate the holidays and spend time with my family. So I won't have a video this Wednesday or Sunday, but I will be back Wednesday the 30th. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time.